Dink, dink. Let me drive it, drive it, block it. Beautiful, that's exactly what they do. That's what you're practicing is being able to slow that ball down. You're not going to get every one of them. It's like riding a bike, they're not perfect at the beginning. That's exactly what they do that last time. Alright, let's move to our second part. Okay, go to the camera, please. So that was the review for our first part. You have the three things you can do. Block a ball, which should be 70% of the time when someone hits hard at you. Counter punch it, which we all do a lot as it is. You just need to make sure you catch it out front or let that ball go. Make sure when you're practicing, you let balls go to kind of get the feel of how long it's going to go, especially with wind. You have to say, okay, the wind on that side, I probably wouldn't let many balls go, but if I'm over there, I'm going to let a lot of balls go. Okay, let's move down to swinging hard versus swinging down. One of the next most common problems I see most of us do is we get a ball right here and we go, bam! And it comes back right at this height and that person goes, bam! And it comes at my feet. Instead of taking that ball and pushing it <laughs> down at an angle and at feet, you can win so many points without any power. Just put the ball down on people's feet. So let's practice that. Uh, Jevin and Kale, where are you guys? Yeah. So talking about 50-50 balls, if you can't swing down, you shouldn't swing hard. Does everybody know what a 50-50 ball is? Yeah. It's a ball that's fairly over the net, where I might win it half the time and I might not. So if you have hit me a ball that's that height that comes to me. And I go like this, a lot of times I'm going to hit it in the net, Jevin's going to counter punch me, or I'm going to miss it. So I want to have a high enough ball I can angle at the feet. Uh, Part of this is you need to be on top of the ball. So if I hit a ball and it comes up, so I've hit a good shot to Jevin, he's having to dig it out, and I still have my paddle by my side. By the time I hit it, I'm here and I'm not on top of the ball. Instead of hitting it, and here, I'm angling that ball down. When I catch a ball late, I'm not on top of it. I shank those. Those are the ones you're like, how did we lose that point? Because you didn't get your paddle back to ready and catch the ball down. So that's a really big key is to be down on the ball. So let's practice a couple of those first, and then we're going to talk about how you save it. Uh, Jeremy, come on out. So what we're going to do here, when we get a hard ball, I'm going to drive the first one into their chest, and we'll see how well they do with that. So give me a 50, let me dink a couple, give me a 50-50 ball. Or Kale will drive it, you can drive it too. Drive that, and I don't want you drive it, and I want it right into their chest. I hit that a little too good. One more time. The point being is, I'll win them half the time, and I'll lose them half the time as I drive that ball. Instead of, now give me another one. I want to put balls down on their feet and do that right there. I didn't hit it hard, but I hit it at an angle where he had to pick it up right here. If he gets it over, it's going to be right there and we're going to kill it. But lots of times it goes in the net. Do that again. Any one of us, if any of us get a ball up, I want you to get it down on the feet. <laughs> Good. That's down on the feet. That's perfect. Ball's got to be a downward angle, so when he's connecting to the ball, it's below the net. If we hit it back flat, that's what too many of us do. Again, I'm going to show you what I don't want you doing. That right there. We take that ball, we catch it late, our feet are in a bad spot, we hit it, and there's no way that's going to land in the court. Instead of taking that same ball, and I just put it at Jeremy's feet over here, cross. Work on taking these balls and having good hands out in front of you. You need to see this ball. If you're hitting this ball like this, that's why we miss it, because I don't see the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. That, that, that's the shot right there. His paddle was down enough when he caught it, he popped it flat. Instead of taking the time, take a little bit of step to the side and hit it at an angle. Let's work on balls in the kitchen. Hard balls need to be hit in the kitchen. There was a hole in the middle, so he hit it to the right place because we didn't get into good positioning. So when we're hitting these balls, does anyone have any questions what I'm talking about? That ball right there needs to go into the kitchen. Give me one up, Jeremy. So see that what I did there? I didn't hit it hard. I could have swung hard. There's a good chance.
care through the block. Instead, I just took it out front and put it at an angle one more time. Take that ball in those three feet right here. Get yourself back to the line and be ready to go. Have that paddle up. So we're going to practice putting balls in the kitchen, not hard, but down. And we're going to practice opening up, taking balls up. So go back after the courts and we'll practice those. Four or five here on this court. Good 